Welcome to Movement Mondays, where we release a new video every Monday to show you how to prevent and correct injuries so that you can move like you mean it. Hey, what's up guys? This is Mitch back with the Movement Center, and we are hanging out at the cottage today and playing a little croquet. Uh, and we came into some issues with shoulder pain. And so we're talking here with Jeff about kind of what's going on with the shoulder. And I want to show you guys a little bit of something you can do to assess if your shoulder is limited, uh, what that pain is coming from. And then we're going to use some croquet tools to see if we can figure that out um, because we didn't have any fancy physio foam roller tools with us. So we're going to go ahead and use this. So first thing I want to talk about is Jeff gets some pain kind of in his shoulder here up this side. So if you guys get shoulder in the front side, first thing we're going to do is take a look at Jeff. So you can stand to the side like this. And one thing I want you guys to see if we get a good angle in here is just kind of guy's got a pretty stiff and kind of uh, kind of curved upper back here and you can see his shoulder sits a bit tipped forward. So he's kind of sitting wink, up like that and you, through here you can see that he's kind of curved up a little bit. You almost has a bit of a step that comes down through here. So when he brings his shoulder up overhead, so bring your shoulder up for us buddy, you bring your shoulder up overhead, this is going to kind of pinch or kind of come forward a little bit when he does that. So come back down. Now if you guys see him come up, so we're going to have Jeff face right at the side and come up back again for us. So watch his lower back here. So he comes up overhead and he can see his kind of his arms not quite right by his ear. So you come back down. We're going to use a test here. The, we're going to call this, I'm coining this, the, the croquet test. So he's going to grab that. He's going to grab palms down, okay? And he's going to come up again overhead as far as he can. So he comes up. That's where you guys, you can see, he arches through his lower back. I don't know if you guys can saw that. Come back down, Jeff. Come up again. Watch him right here. So he comes up and he really tries to extend through right there to get that range. So if I stop him from doing that, come back down and go ahead again and do that. That's kind of as far as he can get, right? Now come back down, Jeff. Now we're gonna switch his grips. So now we're gonna put his shoulders into external rotation. It's gonna just wind up his lats, his soft tissue kind of through here. So if you're stiffer, that might mean something's going on over here. So we line him up, he comes over again, keep him tight. And he can't quite get up as high. So you can see he's kind of stiffer there. He's not quite by his ear, right? So then come back down. So, awesome. Croquet test, we're, we're patenting it, okay? So now what we wanna do is gonna get up some ways he can work on that. So we're gonna use the top of this, because why not, right? and get into his upper back. So I'm gonna demo this one, we're gonna have Jeff show the other one. So for this, it's gonna act as our kind of double lacrosse ball or foam roller. We're gonna sneak on our backs and use this right at the top here of the back. It's gonna suck because it's hard, but that's fine because we're, you know, we're, we're, we're tough and arms are tight and you're gonna arch back and forth. So we're extending and getting, we're almost using it as a foam, oh, that really sucks. Using that as a foam roll to get back overhead. Now, last piece of this is we're gonna use this to break up that kind of lat, Terries, all this stuff into the back side of the shoulder. So we're gonna have Jeff show us that. So he's gonna get on his side, his right shoulder. He's gonna sneak this in to right there, so all the way on the side. Awesome. Sneak that in and lay down on that jet. He's gonna put as much weight as he can on that. And now what we're gonna see him do is come up and we're gonna put that shoulder back into internal extra rotation. So he comes here, put some pressure on it, and he's gonna go in and out. Has it sucked, Jeff? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> he's gonna go back and forth into that. And you can see him kind of work that a little bit and you should feel that almost peel that lat off of the side of the shoulder that feels good yep. you feel that releasing oh, yeah. awesome so he's gonna work that for a second now if we work on that he can get his overhead shoulder position a little bit better if he's doing things like playing baseball catch throwing his football these kind of things you can get your shoulder in a better overhead position and come through um, so you're not kind of cramming back and jamming your shoulder blade um, which is going to lead to bad things like shoulder plane that's that's awesome good so going back up we might even just see if we just take Jeff to that for a minute. If we have Jeff face the side again and grab onto your stick, fancy stick, palms up. Good. And let's have him come, come up again. So he comes up overhead and he can get a little bit further overhead. I don't know if you guys can see this actually on this side, but he's actually further on his right than his left when he comes up with that. After just, just a minute. So that's pretty good, Jeff. Nice. And so we got to work on Jeff's upper back, his shoulder. Okay, work around something, the croquet test. Get your overhead position good. And uh, anything you want to say to the people here, Jeff? Thanks for watching. <laughs> like us if you can't, if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel and remember to move like you mean it. And play lots of croquet. Thanks a lot.